first in the tank is a modern way to celebrate your union. <laughs> Hi Sharks, my name's Caroline Kreidenberg. I'm from Denver, Colorado, and I'm here today seeking $200,000 for 5% of my company. Wow. <laughs> Sharks. Weddings are amazing, right? A beautiful couple, madly in love, shedding happy <laughs> tears together. But what happens when the unexpected makes everything come crashing down? I'm talking about the pandemic. Life was brought to a halt and couples were forced to postpone or cancel their big day. So what did I do? I created the ultimate solution to allow couples to still tie the knot and live happily ever after. Introducing Wetfully, the best wedding you'll ever go to. But get this, guests can attend all from the comfort of their home, hot tub, or anywhere around the world. Wedfully helps plan and produce elaborate, engaging, creative, and virtual Yes, sharks, I said virtual weddings. We handle the tech so that our couples can handle the love. But this isn't just a lifeless live stream. Wetfully weddings are full of interactive moments like our crowd favorite group dance that leave guests and the couple truly wowed. Guests have a front row seat regardless of where they're attending from and can be dressed fancy on top and comfy on bottom. PJs, undies, no problem. Want to know the best part? After just a few virtual weddings, we quickly realized this isn't just a pandemic fix, but simply a better way to get married. Weddings are stressful and expensive, but with Wedfully, celebrating your marriage is accessible to you and your guests. So Sharks, which one of you wants to say, I do, and help couples <laughs> around the world have their cake and eat it too? So Sharks, to get you all in the wedding mood, you each have a piece of cake and a glass of champagne in front of you. <laughs> Let's toast. To the Chevrolet Testoval. Yeah. Wait, wait, one, two, three. Chevrolet Testoval! <laughs> all right, so here's my thoughts. I believe that weddings are a time to celebrate. I believe after being uh, locked up for years, we're all gonna wanna do that more in person. I don't like your valuation, I'm out. Take back his cake. That's totally Thanks fine. For the cake. You enjoy that cake, you enjoy that champagne. You wanna hear a fun fact? Yes. The first wedding ever streamed in video online was my brother Brian's. What? In 1998. Really? Yep. Wait, how do you know that? Because I start, helped start the whole streaming industry. That's how I made my money with but how audio. How do you know it was the very first one? Because we did all the streaming at the time. Oh. Caroline, I, I love weddings. People love weddings. Yeah. Uh, to Damon's point. Yeah. Don't you think the last thing people want to do is have more video weddings after the pandemic? Totally, totally. And I think there's an industry that works for those people. But I think it's super important to understand who we saw get married last year using Wedfully. So 40% of our couples chose Wedfully because it just fit their needs. How right? many weddings did you perform on Wedfully? Um, we've performed 700 since March of 2020. So um, I am in the wedding wow. industry in many, many different levels and, and points of reference. Uh, I own many companies that service it. I've lived through the pandemic. I understand exactly what's going on. The issue you have with this deal before, because 700 is nothing, not that Can I- Can I finish really quickly telling please, you about the 40%? Please, please do, because I'm about to eviscerate you. Great. Well, well, I'm, no, I'll... no, no, wait, wait, wait. Before <laughs> you get to the money, were you in the wedding business before or how, how did you get to this? Yes. So my background's actually software engineering. Okay. So before this, um, I was working at a big financial corporation as a software engineer. You probably didn't expect me to say I'm a software engineer when I walked in here. And so, yeah, when I, I was, expected it because, you know. Yeah, because women so can do everything. Women can do that. That's right. um, when I was working at that big financial corporation, I was one of three women in a 60 person company. So I started looking for an industry where I could still use my software engineering degree but have a culture where I felt like I fit in more. And weddings is obviously totally very female dominated, except for Mr. Wonderful here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't fit. <laughs> Um, then I built an app to work with wedding planners. And while working with them, this is when I realized that the traditional wedding industry does not fit all types. 
On the market, it's like courthouse wedding or big blowout, you know, minimum. The average wedding costs $30,000 in the US, right? What we saw last year was that 40% of our couples didn't have a wedding planned, had no intention to have the big white wedding. And then when they read about us, because we've been featured in the New York Times, I've been on the Today Show, we've been in Vogue, Brides, it would click for them. How does it work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I sign up, what yep. happens So next? you sign up, you go through our, our, our process called the Wedfully Guide and Workbook, which really tees you up to be fully prepared. Um, and then on the day of the wedding, it's super exciting, right? So we have like this multimedia experience. It's almost like a museum of the couple. As you enter the Zoom waiting room, there's either like a video playing about how they met or a slideshow, a custom playlist playing. And then once the wedding starts, we have this multi-angle, you really do get a front row seat. The equipment is all tripod, cell phones, super low tech, and then we are 100% remote, right? So we've done weddings all over the world because we can do a wedding wherever. Okay, how many can you handle on a Saturday? So last year we did one Saturday, we did 30 weddings. But okay. the beauty of wow. what we've done and why we're such a good team is that we're super amazing on the operations side and we're able to scale up and scale back as the weddings come through the door. What actually did you develop? Is it the production and the switching and the mixing side of it or what? No, the actual planning process itself is where the tech and the proprietary tech lies. So okay, we so explain built that to out me. like this guide flow, almost kind of like a data, bit data science-y where it's like taking in all these data points about what their wedding so, is. So Caroline, here's what I'm trying to figure out. Mm -hmm. On one hand, you're a wedding planner, right? Then the reason I'm asking the questions about the technology is I'm trying to figure out, are you also a data company? Can you get more information? Because if you become a data company, what are you aggregating? How deep is your database? Because that right. is really what matters. Yeah, and to answer that question, we're aggregating like every single little detail about their wedding, down to like how many people are attending. We collect their guest list, which we don't, we don't do any. Are you capturing the birth dates or any information about the attendees, the 200 that are attending? We're collecting their first name, last name, and email right now. Caroline, the, the, the geeks here are asking important questions, but you're asking with $200,000 for 5%, saying that your business is worth $4 million. Yeah. What was the last year of business and year to date of sales? So when we started on March, in March of 2020, until now we've done a million dollars in sales. Whoa. Fabulous. Okay, and on that million dollars, were you profitable in sales you had? Yeah, last year we did 700, we made 100. This year we'll do about a million and we'll make 300. So our average revenue per customer is 1,500. Our two base packages are 800 to 1,200, and then we have a whole menu of add-ons that couples can choose from to up like whatever they what want for their making? wedding. What are you making on the 1,500? What's your profit margin on that? Um, 75%. Have you raised any money? No, I, I own 100% of the company. Good for you. Okay, the only way this works for me goes back to the data. I have a lot of other companies that service weddings. Yeah. If this works for me, I, I don't think you're worth four million, but it's an interesting data feeder business if 100%. you're willing to work with the other companies so that mm -hmm. we could sell your weddings, all of our other stuff. Yeah. They are my customers, okay? They are the people that I sell Love Pop greeting cards to and I also set up accounts for at Honey Fund. Yep. That really matters to me. All right, I want 20% for 200,000. You're not doing this for free, okay? There will be an economic relationship. This is a feeder business to each other. Mm -hmm. There's a synergy here yeah, just on those sense. two businesses. There's others, but those are the two I want to start with. Okay. That's my offer. Thank you so much. Very, very flattered. Um, what did you do 200,000 for 10%? No. I'm gonna bring so much value to this business. Look, I track the wedding industry by the weekend, okay? I get all so, that data. And well, there's a huge you scalability issue. Wait a minute. Um, listen, what I love with you here today is actually your story. You are a great role model for everybody watching, but this isn't the right business for me. And so, unfortunately, I'm out, but I appreciate you standing Thank there. you, Lori, girl power. You've thank changed you. my life too, seeing you up here, so. Oh, well, thank you. Caroline, one of the challenges that I see is scale, right? Yeah. And so it's, it's not a question, can you execute? I think it's a question as an investor, how much can you scale? Mm -hmm. You know, I don't have the ancillary businesses that create right. revenue that'll justify an investment. Yeah. So for those reasons, I'm out. Okay, thank you, Mark. Hey, Caroline, you're a great operator and I think you're gonna figure it out. I'm gonna make you an offer. 
Kevin offered you 200,000 for 20%. Your comeback was? 200,000 for 10%. I'll do that deal. Okay, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> Done. Snatch it out of Kevin's mouth. He did, Yay. absolutely. Three, two, Three, one. Two, one. Woo! Yay! <laughs> Thanks, Taylor. 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 Congrats. I can't wait to continue to prove people wrong. And um, I think it's super exciting to welcome our first male partner. <laughs> Kevin, you know what I love about all your wedding offers? You want to buy everybody's email address yeah. and phone number. Kevin, what are you spamming people with when you get their uh, their information? <laughs> <laughs>